one to one and all. Today we will be seeing the determination of curcumin by calorimetric method which is prepared by Dr. Padma Yamparak, Department of Pharmacognosy, Oxford College of Pharmacy, Bangalore. Let us see the learning objectives or learning outcomes. The learner will be able to explain the principle involved in the determination of curcumin by calorimetric method, analyze the unknown concentration of curcumin in a given sample. Aim of the experiment. The aim of the experiment is to estimate the curcumin concentration in the given sample by calorimetric method. So chemicals and glassware required are curcumin, methanol, standard volumetric flask 10 ml, pipette 1 ml, beaker and coming to the equipments we need calorimeter and cuvette. Coming to the principle of the experiment, we know that curcumin is the phytoconstituent isolated from curcuma longa belonging to family gingivaraceae and curcuma longa is commonly called as haldi which we use as a spice and as it has got antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer and number of other number activities, pharmacological activities. So when we say curcumin, Curcumin is a mixture, it is found as a mixture as the curcuminoids. So curcuminoids is the major constituent which is a mixture of three compounds, curcumin, demethoxy curcumin and bis demethoxy curcumin. And we estimate curcumin because that is a major constituent present uh, in out of this three as a curcuminoid. The curcumin is soluble in methanol. And it has got a lambda max at 425 nanometers, which can be determined or which can become the uh, principle for determination because each phytoconstituent or each chemical constituent has a characteristic lambda max. So if the lambda max is known, then we can take that lambda max and whatever absorbance obtained at that lambda max can be helpful in determining the concentration of that particular phytoconstituent. So in our case, it is curcumin and it is readily soluble in methanol and which has got lambda max at 425. So this principle can be utilized for knowing the unknown concentration of the given sample. Now coming to the procedure. We have to prepare the standard curcumin solution. So we will be taking 10 milligram of standard curcumin and we will dissolve in 10 ml of methanol. That will be labeled as top 1 which is equal to 1 mg per ml. 1 mg per ml in other terms we can say 1000 microgram per ml. So we have prepared stock 1. We will be preparing stock 2. So from stock 1 we will take 1 ml and make up to 10 ml with methanol which will be labeled as stock 2 and which will contain 0.1 milligram per ml or 100 microgram per ml concentration. So from stock 2, we will be preparing different concentration for taking the absorbance. So we will be taking 0.1 ml, 0.2 ml, 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ml and 0.6 ml of stock 2 and individually we will make up to 10 ml with methanol to get a concentration of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 microgram per ml. Point 0.1 we are taking from the stock 2. Stock 2 is 100 microgram per ml. When we take point 0.1 ml, it will have 10 micrograms per uh, 10 micrograms per point 0.1 ml. And we are making the 10 micrograms to 10 ml. So 10 microgram is present in 10 ml. Therefore, concentration per ml will become 1 microgram per ml. So we will be preparing like this 1 to 6 microgram per ml. And you can see the as the concentration increases, the intensity of the color also increases and there will be increase in the absorbance also. So now coming to the reading part, 
we'll be taking the different concentration what we have prepared from 1 to 6 microgram per ml and we'll measure the absorbance at 425 nanometers. Unknown concentration which is given is also measured at 425 nanometers which is also made up to the volume with 10 ml with methanol. And before starting the experiment, we have to set the calorimeter for 15 minutes for stabilization. Seeing that the filter is kept properly at 425 nanometers, if we are using a spectrophotometer, then we have to adjust the wavelength to 425 nanometers and we can stabilize also for 15 minutes and after that we will be taking the blank. We will be doing blank with methanol and make the zero corrections. Then we will be plotting the stand, uh, will be different concentration will be measured. We'll be taking different concentration of the standard and we'll be noting the absorbance and note the uh, absorbance will be noted in the tabular column. And all the measurements are done, all the absorbent measurements are done at 425 nanometers. We'll be always proceeding from lower concentration to higher concentration after blanking with methanol and record the values in the tabular column like this. And unknown concentration, what was given, that can also be a calculation part. So in calculation, what we'll do first step is, we'll be preparing the graph with concentration in x-axis and absorbance in y-axis and we'll extrapolate the unknown concentration from the graph. So this is how the graph will be there. We can see that the concentration in the x-axis and uh, absorbance is in the y-axis and uh, we can see the estimation here we have written the heading and footer is also given and this is drawn with the help of a uh, excel sheet you can draw on the ordinary uh, graph sheets and we can now extrapolate the unknown concentration if this is the absorbance of unknown uh, sample then we will extrapolate to get the concentration so the concentration we can find that it is approximately 3.5 microgram per ml concentration of the unknown graph. We have to see that the standard graph passes through the origin and this is done with the help of Excel sheet. So the Excel sheet the formula is given with the interception at zero so that the line passes through the origin. Coming to the report. So we have calculated the concentration from the, we have found out the concentration from the graph. So the report can be written as the unknown concentration of given sample of curcumin was found to be so much microgram per ml. Hope uh, you have understood the procedure and uh, unknown concentration of curcumin can be determined easily at 425 nanometers as because it has got lambda max at 425 nanometers. Uh, with the help of a standard uh, different concentration and plotting a straight line we should get and once from straight line we can extrapolate the unknown concentration as the method is given. Uh, the method and uh, thank you and happy learning.